the things that I've learned on the baseball field are widely applicable to like everything in life. So in high pressure situations, whether it's in sports or say you're giving a presentation like this speech, or you've got a big you know, presentation to your board when you have a full-time job in the future or whatever it is, anytime that you're afraid or nervous and you feel those doubts and those fears, anxieties sort of flood in, I think a lot of young people today want to run from those when they feel nervous or they feel you know, socially anxious, they don't want to be put in the spotlight. But a really important life skill is learning to work through those. And that's what you learn in sports. So in that example, like if I'm pitching and it's like base loaded and I'm not doing well and there's a bunch of runners on, the action steps are simple. You have to regain control of time and of your breath. So I would step off and I would take a long, slow, deep breath. And that's something you can do again any point in life. You could be in a, in a fight with a significant other or with your parents where it's getting really heated. You can take a deep breath. And not only does the deep breath relax you because you get more oxygen, but it also gives you back time. Because when you're taking a deep breath and it's long and slow, you're saying, everyone's gonna wait on me for a second. I'm gonna like pull this back and we're gonna stop rushing through this and I'm gonna to try to refocus. So the deep breath is really important. No matter where you are, when you feel anxious, a deep breath sets the stage. Then you can acknowledge the way that you feel. If I'm out there on the mound and I'm stressed or if you're in a situation where you're really stressed or feeling anxious, doubting yourself, you can sit with that feeling for a moment. You're not a robot. I've never been a robot. When I've been out there, you might not see it, but I feel the same way you probably assume that I feel, doubting myself. Negative self-talk, anxious, afraid of what's gonna happen if I screw up. I sit with that for a minute, I say, you know what? This is a big situation, I feel stressed. And then I take my deep breath and then I say, you've been here before, you're prepared, you put in the work, you know you can do this. So then, when I sort of self-talk myself back up, you know, I refocus on the smallest thing that I can do. And that's a really important action item for like all sorts of situations in life. You refocus on just the one thing that you can do. So if you're in a, say you're in a shouting, shouting match with a friend or a significant other or a family mem member, the one thing you can do after refocusing is be kind. The next thing out of my mouth is gonna be calmer and it's gonna be kind. Or if I'm on the field, the next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose the one pitch I'm not going to worry about the rest of the at-bat. I'm not going to worry about all the runners on base. I'm not going to worry about the situation. I'm not going to worry about all the things in the future. I'm going to worry about the one thing that I can control, which is the next pitch I'm going to throw. And then if I throw that next pitch to the best of my ability, then I'm going to repeat this whole thing over again. And if you're in that argument with someone, the next thing out of my mouth is going to be kind. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to start to make this situation better. And then they reply, right? And then you say, the next thing out of my mouth is going to give them the benefit of the doubt and is going to be kind. And that's how relationships thrive and how you can start to better understand each other's needs when you have conflicts with each other. Because like I said, on my train trip, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about my girlfriend. We had a lot of arguments when we were both really tired and it was hard to focus and like be empathetic towards each other. But we slowed down. We reminded each other that we loved each other. And so... We just took steps back to slow it down and be kind to each other. And on the mound, it's about, we're in the game, it's about being kind to yourself and slowing down and deciding what is that smallest action item I can take because I can't control the future, I can't control the past, the only thing I can control is this one pitch, this one swing, this one thing that I can do right now and then I'll piece it together one by one. That's some of the best life advice that I have and it's taken a long time for me to really internalize that.